<laughs> okay. Well, we'll go ahead and get started. I think there are a few more people that are going to struggle in, but we'll go ahead and get started since it's 530. Um, I'm glad you're here tonight. If you're here, that means you like traveling or at least thinking about traveling. And so um, I'm right with you. And we are super excited to tell you about the trips that we're going to take in 2023. You are the first to know about these trips. Once um, I turn it over to Karen, then I'll scoot out and put the brochures here face down so, <laughs> so you can't see them yet. But I want to take a moment to introduce you to uh, Karen Barclay. She's our amazing Colette representative, and she helps us choose the trips that we're taking, help organize them, um, make it just as seamless as possible. She's um, extraordinary. So we're very lucky to have Karen in our court. She's going to be leading us through the trips that we'll be doing in 2023 with leading with a drum roll and revealing them one by one. Um, at the end of the reveal, we'll have time for questions and answers. So Karen, you want to take it from here? Great. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm so excited to, to not really see you because I can't see you, but to be with you. And I'm coming from Kentucky. We're having our sales meeting here. So we're really excited to be out and about. And if you have not spent time in Kentucky, oh my gosh, we've been to the Slugger Museum. We've been to the Fraser History Museum and we've been all over the Bourbon Trail. So it's an amazing state. So we do a, a great tour through there as well. So anyway, thanks for joining us. We're gonna run through. Uh, Stephanie and I have done a lot of work on these things and we know you're gonna be super excited to get back out there again. If you're not familiar with Colette, we uh, this is our 104th travel season. So we've been around the block a couple times. We're not new to any of this and we are a guided group travel company. Um, just one second, we're not moving forward. Here we go. Uh, you may be familiar with us from the Wheel of Fortune. Any wheel watchers out there? We are the um, we are the company that partners with Pat and Vanna, and we're really thrilled for that partnership. We've been doing that for over 25 years and give away trips um, during their uh, sweepstake time. Fun thing is, is back in 2021, my husband and I went to Croatia and I, I, you know, I never actually had met anybody who'd been on the wheel, won the trip, and then went on the trip. And the girl, Kelsey, was on our trip. So it was really fun <laughs> to see and hear all about the experience. So great relationship there just gives you kind of a point of understanding. I wanna share this video with you and get you so excited to get back out there again. It's safe, everything's opening up and it's a great time to get out and explore. Open up your eyes, the sky will tell you what there is to see. Let's wake up in a brand new place, shake up everything we believe. Is it possible it's more beautiful than we dream? Is it possible it was all right here this whole time within our reach? Let me show you the world, come away with me Till you've seen for yourself every mystery Their tour managers are excellent, their programs are excellent what we liked was having a guide that really knew the country. Because of the tour manager, the trip was much better than it would have been on my own. He brought a lot of detail and history and information. It has <laughs> definitely been a trip of a lifetime. Far more than we expected. So at Colette, we take care of all of your um, 
all the things in planning your trip, right? We're a four, four and a half star accommodation company. We do everything from baggage handling to the unparalleled sightseeing to all the tour managers, local guides, as well as comfortable transportation in between destinations. And we just want you to sit back and enjoy and do all of the must sees. A little bit about what we did too, just to let you know, during COVID, um, we gave money back to everybody. If a trip was canceled, that's what we did. It was the right thing to do. When you give us your uh, deposit as well as your insurance, we actually put it in a separate kitty. And if the trip doesn't operate, that money is yours to have back. And we gave back over $175 million since last March because it was the right thing to do. And we wanted to be sure that you felt confident in having um, a company there that had your back. We're back out there again, we're ready to travel. And you can trust that Colette's gonna do the right thing, you know, if the world even were to go sideways again. And here's where we are today. Just real quick, um, at a very, you know, high level is we are requiring all travelers through the end of December of 2022, whether you're traveling domestically or internationally, to be vaccinated. We did just announce that beginning January of 2023, we will not require you to be vaccinated for domestic travel. So that's so exciting just to hear that we're moving forward with the world. All right, so um, the last trip that we have going out for 2022 is Shades of Ireland. There is still room on this trip. If you'd like to get in on it, this is one of our top five trips uh, around the world. We travel probably, oh gosh, 145 to 150 tours are out right now. This is 10 days, 13 meals, awesome itinerary, all right? So you would leave out of DFW or whatever gateway or airport you would like to go out to. We're going to fly in and out of Dublin. You'll go down to Waterford. We'll go to the beautiful Waterford, Waterford uh, Crystal uh, Factory there. We'll travel through Blarney. We'll go over to the Ring of Kerry where you'll be right there at the southernmost part of Ireland. You'll work your way over to the amazing Cliffs of Moher. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to see some puffin. Over to Limerick for a couple nights up to Galway. You'll work your way through Tullamore. You'll visit a, a distillery, go up to Kings Court and spend the night in a castle before you make your way back to Dublin. We do have some pre and post on that trip as well. So if you're interested in that, uh, Stephanie does have some information. Here's the beautiful Cobra Castle that um, is just amazing. It's a wedding venue as well as a hotel. So that's where we would stay at the last night. So we hope you can join us in Ireland. Here's the pricing for that trip, Shades of Ireland, departing Monday, October 24th, 2022. Uh, keep in mind that we do include your insurance with you. We'll go through what that means at the end of the um, slideshow here tonight. So $999 would be your deposit, which includes your insurance. This is due by May 25th of 2022. Your final payment is 60 days out from departure, which would be August 25th of 2022. And your total, and this is based on a double occupancy with your insurance waiver, and that is $100 that you're saving, booking by May 25th, for $4,098 for Shades of Ireland. And you cannot go wrong. Very safe place to go right now. Um, it's just an incredible uh, opportunity to go to or to go to again. All right. So now we're going to move on to our 2023. So as we release 2023 trip reveal and first one out the door, Iceland's Magical Northern Lights, seven days, 10 meals. Guys, this is all about chasing the Northern Lights. All right. Great opportunity to do this. Great place to do this. And let me share this itinerary with you. So we'll fly from DFW into Reykjavik, in and out of Reykjavik there. So you'll land on the Western coast where you'll spend the first night there. Um, then the next three nights, we'll go to the southernmost point of Iceland. Why, why do we go there? Because this is the absolute best place to see the Northern Lights. You will spend four out of five nights while you're there 
chasing the northern lights. You will also go see many beautiful waterfalls, lava exhibits, the Blue Lagoon. So if you've seen the movie uh, Benjamin Button, you know, and you may go in there and get some mud on your face and lose 10 years off your life and come out looking like you're so much younger. Just absolutely fun times there. Glacier Lagoon, all kinds of fun stuff. But this is an amazing trip. Again, another great destination that is very safe, comfortable to go to. And here's the pricing for Iceland's Magical Northern Lights. We are departing Sunday, January 22nd. Great thing, right after Christmas. What a great way to get out there and get things started again. Your deposit for this is $999, which is your insurance included. Deposit due by July 23rd of 2022. Your final payment is uh, November 23rd, and that should be 2022, excuse me. Uh, and the total is $37.98, that's double with insurance. And if you get your uh, deposit, your $9.99 down by July 23rd, you will save $200 on this trip, which is reflected there in that pricing. The next trip is a great domestic trip we have. Washington, D.C. And this is a spotlight tour. What does that mean? It means we're going to stay in a single hotel there and then we'll hub and spoke out to lots of different locations while we're there. So great fun time to go to Washington, D.C. We will fly into uh, either uh, Dulles or Reagan there. We're going to spend five nights in Washington, D.C. We always stay city center, so you will we'll be able to browse about, walk about in the city while you're there uh, during any kind of free time. We'll visit lots of different sites while we're there, Arlington National Cemetery. We will go out to Mount Vernon. We'll go to Old Town Alexandria, and you'll have a chance to be right there on the Potomac, as well as visit many museums, Smithsonian's, and um, the White House Visitors Bureau, as well as many other sites while you're there. And the pricing on the spotlight on Washington, DC, we're gonna depart Thursday, March 23rd of 2023. The deposit with insurance included is $899. Your deposit due September 23rd of 2022. Final payment, again, 60 days out. January 22nd, the total double occupancy, and this does include your airfare. All of these pricings that I give you include your airfare, $22.98, which is $100 savings if you book by September 23rd. The next one, Southern Italy and Sicily. I'm so excited. This is one my husband and I are going to do in June. So this is great. One part of Sicily or one part of Italy I have not been to. So great opportunity and an absolutely wonderful tour. 12 days, 17 meals are included. Let's take a look at this. So you'll fly into uh, where are we flying into? You're flying into Palermo. All right. So, you know, we all know that, you know, Sicily, we've, I mean, uh, Italy, we've got the boot right there. So we're going to start, though, on the island of Sicily and you'll fly into Palermo and we'll kind of go right around clockwise there. Right. And you're going to go all the way on over. We'll go through Mount Etna. We'll cross on over then to the toe of the boot and then we'll work our way up to uh, Matera for two nights, which is supposed to be incredible. We've been doing some reading about some different caves and things that are in there that we'll visit. And then we'll work our way up to Pompeii, which is just a really cool area too, with all of the ruins and the excavations that have been going on there. Spend time in Sorrento and then back out of Naples. You'll be right there along the Amalfi Coast. Absolutely exciting. I, I just don't even think you could go to Italy you know, once ever, you know, there's so many parts to explore. And if you haven't ever watched the uh, Stanley Tucci show that's on CNN right now, it's called Searching for Italy. He explores all 20 regions of that country. And it's just an incredible show. You'll just learn and, and be excited so much about visiting different parts of that. Here we are, Ali at UNT, Southern Italy and Sicily. This trip is going to be Friday, April 28th of 2023. Uh, with the insurance, it's a deposit of $999. Your 
your deposit due October 29th of 2022, final payment February 27th of 23, double with insurance, uh, saving $200 by October 29th is 46.48. So hope you can join us there in Southern Italy and Sicily, tropical Costa Rica. I mean, how can you go wrong? This is ideal. This is a great short flight from DFW, fabulous trip so much the country to see everything from the cloud forest to the uh, coastline to everything you can imagine nine days 14 meals just fabulous trip I sent my parents on this trip February of 2020 and it was just incredible great pacing if you see there we go in and out of San Jose so we spend two nights in San Jose. We spend two nights up in Arenal, which is the volcanic area. We'll go over to the Monte Verde Cloud Forest. We'll go over to Guanacosta, which is just amazing. You'll see dolphin. You'll just enjoy the coastline right there very, very much. We actually have a great extension. If you've never been um, out really to the jungle area, this is amazing. At the end, you can spend three days over in the jungle you take a motor coach over there, but then we actually have to take a small boat over to this national forest where, believe it or not, you don't even need to have an alarm clock. You will have these howler monkeys wake you up every morning. And it's just an amazing experience. People are like, oh my gosh, what is that? So true jungle experience, but a super cool um, lodges and everything. It's all, you know, four star it's beautiful but it is a jungle experience and it's it's just well worth the extension right there so think about that if you've not been to Costa Rica or love to get away again for that I'm going to share this quick video with you Costa Rica also guys you know we we were grounded basically you know for 2020 um, and 2021 in April our first international trip was back out to Costa Rica. This video is just gonna put a smile on your face and gonna make you wanna go somewhere, I can promise. So sit back, enjoy this, and just know how good it felt in April for us to get back out on the road. I really thought the day would never come. It's so liberating to finally be able to travel, plus in a place like Costa Rica. I just had to do this before any more time passed. I was amazed at how diverse this country is. We went to the beach, the cloud forest. We watched dolphins swimming in the ocean. It's just amazing. What better way to spend my 80th birthday? Pura Vida! That looks awesome. I'm embarrassed because I'm tearing up. <laughs> this is the first time that I've been out of the country and it was a fabulous trip of a lifetime for me. We're, we're blessed to be able to get out and go again. We've been traveling with Colette for 16 years, and it's just been an awesome experience. You know, you can't put off to tomorrow because you don't know that tomorrow's going to come. So I'm just very grateful to be out here. It was beyond my expectations. This has been a trip of a lifetime, but at the same time, it's really put the travel bug in me, and I can't wait to go out and do it again. And I really want to do this so much more and learn all about these different countries and cultures and the people and Colette really is the best. This was a trip of a lifetime because it was a celebration of our 50th wedding anniversary. Costa Rica is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. The feeling I get traveling each time is just the exhilaration, it's excitement. Go for it. It's safe to travel. Get up and go do it. Great trip, great trip. And here's how this trip breaks down. Um, we're departing a Monday, August 14th of 2023. Deposit with insurance is $9.99. Leaving on, uh, deposits due, excuse me, on Valentine's Day of 2023. Great present for your sweetheart. Uh, final payment, June 15th of 2023, 60 days out. Total is $28.98 for double. 
All right, Christmas on the Danube. What a better way to spend Christmas with the Christmas markets and especially coming up. My husband and I were booked on this last year and unfortunately Vienna shut us down and we didn't get to go. But this I hear is just, just incredible. Um, here we can look at it. Um, we do a pre in Prague. So you go into Prague for two nights if you'd like to before the, the excuse me, I back. let me back up. We start in Frankfurt and we work our way down the Rhine River and then we'll do Prague on the back end. So we partner with Lufner, who is the same cruise line that Abercrombie and Kent uses. Wonderful um, cruise line right there and just a great, great trip all along. And here's a great video that I want to share with you that's uh, from our tour manager that does this trip that will give you a great feel for what happens on Christmas on the Danube. Whoops, go back. Well, it's not playing. Well, anyway, I will have to send that over and I'll have Stephanie post that out to the um, website for you guys when I show you where you can go and sign up for these trips. But all of these areas, so we port all along the way. Let me go back to this. We'll go into all of these wonderful regions in here, uh, Regensburg, and we'll go all the way down here and we'll stop. And there's just beautiful Christmas markets that um, some of you may have already been to, but all of these great booths and everything's handcrafted, wonderful different types of cider and things that they make all along the way. So absolutely beautiful. And this is the absolute best time to get out there and support those folks too that have had a couple years that have been rough. So here we are, the Ollie at UNT, Christmas on the Danube. This is going to depart December 2nd, so it'll get you in the holiday spirit right before the holiday, 2023. Your deposit and insurance is a little bit more on this one because it is a river, um, a river boat, uh, a river cruise, $1,249. Your deposits are due by April 3rd of 2023, and our final payment Again, is August 4th of 2023, which is a little bit more than 60 days out, but we do that on these where we work with um, other companies like Lufner. So the total for this is 37.49, which is a do double, but it is the lower outside cabin, that should say, not cable, with insurance waivers. So um, there is pricing on all of our information there that Stephanie has that shows you different uh, cabins that are available. All right, so hometown pickup, this is something that we have included with a lot of these trips, um, which means that everybody meets at a central location. So uh, Stephanie will work with everybody that wants to go on the trip so we can get you to the airport without the hassle of having to park and all of those things. You'll just be able to be dropped off right there at baggage claim. We'll get your bags off the coach and you will be on your way. And then the same thing coming back. Um, we'll have somebody right there to pick you up. We'll be monitoring your flights as you come back so that you won't have the hassle of any of that. We are a full service travel company. So if you do want to go in anywhere early, stay longer, you need other things, um, extensions, you want to upgrade your airfare and things like that. Just let us know. We're happy to get you pricing on any of that to make your trip even more enjoyable. And then our no worries travel protection. So I like to call this your bad hair day policy, right? You can cancel for any reason. You wake up and go, you know, my hair just doesn't look good today and I don't want to travel. And so you give Stephanie a call and say, I can't go. I just can't. And she says, okay. I get it. I don't need a doctor's note. I don't need anything. I'll call Colette. You can get your full refund for cancellation at any time for any reason prior to the day of departure. It just is the cost of your insurance. And isn't that why you buy insurance? You're covered for everything on tour, medical assistance, evacuation, baggage loss, delay. Um, even during COVID and before COVID, this has always been our policy. It's never changed and we continue to do the right thing. And I'm just super proud to work for a company that has done this. I often say the only thing I regret is I didn't find this company about 25 years ago. Um, this is just, you know, it's just the right thing to do and it's the best thing to do. And we just want you to travel with us when you're ready. If you've traveled with us before, or start traveling with us now. Uh, we have a loyalty program that we'll be sure to sign you up for just immediately as soon as you book your first trip. 
We do have a gateway link, but we're going to show you how you'll be able to connect to the OLLI travel page to sign up for all of these. Now that we've revealed them, we will get them up on that site so you can take a look at them. And that pretty much ends my slideshow. So I'm going to stop sharing right now and I'm going to show you my mug and say hello to everybody and see if there's any questions. How exciting is this? Oh there are some great trips that we have for 2023 and everything that Karen said um, today about Colette, this is why all at UNT travels with Colette. They have been around, they're so reputable. Like she says, they do the right thing, no matter what they're having to deal with. Their insurance is above any that I've ever seen. Um, the bad hair day is actually what it is. The day up to the day before you can cancel and get back your money, however you paid for your trip. Um, and you can't beat that. So yes, Gary. So you say uh, it's the refund minus the cost of insurance. Right. Roughly, what is the cost of insurance? The insurance is approximately $300, right, Karen? Yeah, domestics are usually $299. Most of the international are $399. The, the river cruise may be $429 or somewhere in there, but it's all right around there. And so for two people, then that would be per person. So the, the question, I'm repeating this for the recording, the question is how much is the insurance and would it be per person or is that together? And Karen has just told us that the insurance runs between 299 to 499 per person. That would be per person, not together. Yeah. That's correct. What other questions, Betsy? I heard people on the video talked about doing, we traveled with Colette for 15 years. What percentage of people on your tours have been on your previous tours? The question is- I think it's probably pretty hot. The question is what percentage of the people who have participated in collect come back for more collect trips? It is very high, <laughs> very, very high. Um, you know, we're just, we're a family owned third generation family. I'm up here in Kentucky and Dan Sullivan, our CEO is with 35 of us on this trip. I mean, how many companies do you get to experience that? So it is, it's a fabulous company. Everybody comes back. We give you a survey at the end. We really listen to what things we can do to make things better. And um, yeah, it's quite high. Yes. Do you know if um, the African American Museum is included in the Washington DC tour? The question is, is the African American Museum included in the Washington DC tour? So on day five, um, you have time in the afternoon because you're staying right down in like Smithsonian Row, I would call it right. And the African American Museum is in walking distance from the hotel where you stay. Um, it's, they're not that they're included. I think there's a charge on that um, specific museum because it's not part of the free Smithsonian museums, but you will have time if you would like to that day on the fifth day to explore that. There's also the Bible Museum in that area too, which is maybe, I think I priced it for somebody the other day, like $30 if you want to get in. So there's a couple other hotels, but you would have time during that time in walking distance to be able to explore that on your own. Um, Karen, is it true that a lot of your trips have built in leisure time as well? Mm -hmm. So it's not just every minute, go, 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 but there's some built in time for you to decide what you do. Absolutely. Um, many of our trips give you, uh, you know, they include meals, right? So we have all breakfasts are 99% included, several welcome dinners um, and things like that. But we always give you time, leisure time, as well as even if you decide, hey, I've already done that, I've already seen this or that, and I want to go do something else, just let your tour manager know. They're your concierge while you're there. Just be, hey, Joe, I had something else I want to be able to go do. And he'll say, hey, meet up with us over here or over there. You know, we're all adults. We do what you want to do, but yet still have that, that, that group atmosphere and everything to be able to enjoy, enjoy things and meet other people. Yeah. Any plan stuff that your websites so you have access to things like the invoices and stuff rather, rather than having to call somebody? 
the question is are there any plans to update your website so you can access your flight information etc on your own instead of having to make a phone call yes there are plans actually we were just in a meeting day before yesterday with it and those are things that we had hoped to do a couple years ago um then with covid and everything else i kind of got delayed but yes we are doing that um and doing it as quickly as we can to provide those um uh, those things for you in more of a technology data driven way. You don't like going through me, Tom? <laughs> Is that Tom Clammer? Is that Thomas Clammer? It's Tom Clammer. Leave it to him, huh? Hi, Tom. How I are know you, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> yes, question. Uh, now there's a simple answer to this, but what are the usual practices about uh, uh, adaptability, mobility problems and uh, people that can't get around real well. How, how accessible are these tours? The question yeah. is, how accessible are these tours? Um, you mean as far as like um, activity level and ADA requirements and things to that nature? Yeah, and if you need, uh, you know, assist, uh, you know, little scooters to get around, mm -hmm. and then, mm -hmm. you know, is that a no-no yeah. no or? What happened? Oh, I mean, first and foremost, okay, so we know that in the US we have ADA restrictions, requirements, all those things, right? So any of our tours, we're going to be more adaptable in the US, right? We can, we have those kind of accommodations and things like that. Europe, on the other hand, they don't have the same res restrictions that we do. We rate our tours a one through four activity level. And so when we do that, it's important to look at what those activity levels mean. Four is the most active. One would be like the Christmas on the Danube. It's gonna be very much for the leisure traveler, not require a lot of walking. You have all those downtimes. I would say um, three or four, is a three is gonna be Costa Rica, okay? Costa Rica is a country of hills, of some walking. Their uh, hotels are spread out across you know acres and things like that so you may walk out of your hotel room and have to walk up a hill they may have some transportation and things like that to help you with that but require a little bit more of um of, of activity right so you will see and i'll show you this in a minute we'll launch the um the ollie uh, travel page and we'll look at shades of ireland and i'll show you where the activity level is so that you can see what those are based on these trips, if that will be helpful. I presume if you need more details beyond that, there's somebody we can talk to about that. Absolutely. The question is, if you need more information beyond the activity level, is there someone that you can contact to get more information? Sure, absolutely. And uh, we're happy to, because it's most important that we set expectations on, on the trips because, you know, we want you to have the best time and not feel that you know, it's too hard or too easy or that those kind of things is important. That's a great question. Maybe you could just contact Tom. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Oh, me. Donna. Uh -huh. One of the tour, you know, I did the Finland trip and one of the other participants was in an accident on the way to Helsinki. And our tour guide was excellent. Whatever accommodations, they changed the room she was going to stay in because she had to use a walker she did i mean she hurt her foot wow and, uh, they he he made accommodations on you know where we went i mean we right. were north of the arctic circle and uh she could choose the different activities she could do and i was real impressed how much you know he or colette went out of their way to accommodate her so she could do the trip Good. That um, was one of our members was giving a story about her Colette trip to Finland and how accommodating uh, the tour manager and Colette um, was when uh, someone on the trip had an injury. So that's good to share. And I, I hear stories like this over and over when things unexpected things happen, how accommodating um, this organization is and meeting your needs, whatever they may be. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah, thanks a lot. That sounds like an amazing trip. I was just visiting with a girlfriend of mine who went on it and she was like, oh my gosh, this is such a great trip. So I'm jealous you got to go on it. <laughs> we saw lots of pictures and it looked amazing. Yeah. Are there other questions? No questions? Do you want okay, me to, 
Do you want me to launch the um, Ollie website and show them real quick? Yeah. Stuff yeah. All right. Karen's going to pull up the website where you can see our travel tab. The um, These won't go live until tomorrow because y'all get at least 24 hours to be like the only ones that know. <laughs> so um, Jordan uh -huh. will stay up here tonight, making sure they're all um, on the website, right? And what Karen's going to show us is where you'll be able to find those and how you can get more information and register if you want. Okay, Stephanie, can you see the Ollie website? Yes. Okay, great. So whoops, let me just go back for a second so I can show you where this is. So right over here on the menu bar, third one from the right is a travel tab. So you wanna click on that. You'll see your revolutionary road there and then you'll come down here. We're so excited about Treasures and Thieves. Any of you out there for that trip is so exciting. But here's Shades of Ireland. Let me just show you this as an example. So you would go to Shades of Ireland, click on the details, and this will launch into the Colette um, web link that we've created for you. This phone number up here, guys, if you have questions about accessibility, um, uh, anything, any kind of questions, if you just wanna call it to book it, you can call this number. This is your booking number. Just tell them 105-7132 and they'll say, oh, great, you're from all at UNT, nice to talk to you. Here's all the information I went through with you. If you just scoot down here a little bit, you'll see the full itinerary. You can open this up and each day will tell you all the meals that are included, everything that goes on day by day itinerary. Uh, you can print it if you want. You can close this. It uh, shows you the hotels you're staying at everywhere. Remember we talked about the last day you get to stay at Cobra Castle there in Kings Court, but you can Google all of these to see your hotels. They're, they're all there. You can see if they include, you know, robes or whatever you want to know, right? Then you can see the pre and post information here, um, available options. So in Dublin, if you would like to hang out at the Guinness Storehouse and pub dinner, that's there. You can add that to your trip all the information. So for example, on the uh, Ireland trip, the travel insurance is $3.99. So if you did cancel up until 24 hours before departure, the most you would lose on that trip would be $399 per person. You've got travel tips down here. You've got ADA, you've got currency, you've got documents, you've got electricity. You will receive from us though, uh, about 10 days, to two weeks prior to departure, travel documents in the mail and a nice little binder. It goes through all of this same information right there for you. And then a little bit further down here too, you will see the activity level. So right here, on Shades of Ireland though, and I'm gonna highlight it just so you can see it a little better. This is a level two. Remember we talked one through four, four, four being the highest. This means that you like a balanced approach. You feel confident walking for 30 to 45 minutes over a variety of terrains. So, you know, if you're out there and you know, hey, I walk every morning for an hour. Oh, you're great, you're perfect. This will be fine for you. That just kind of sets kind of a, an idea of where you are. If you're on this page too, and let's say you have a friend that lives in Kalamazoo and she might want to go on the trip, all you need to do is put her email in here. I'm going to send this off to my husband so he knows he needs to take me to Ireland. And <laughs> he's actually sitting here in the hotel room laughing at me right now. So um, <laughs> um, anyway, that's, that's all right here. If you're ready to sign up for the trip, right up here on the left. And then when uh, Jordan and Stephanie get these other tours up, the pages are exactly the same layout, every one of them. You click on the sign up now button. It comes up right here. You choose single, double or triple. Um, and let me just tell you this, cause it's always a question. Hey, I'm a single right now, but I'm really hoping to have a roommate um, and if you sign up as a single today just to reserve your space, and let's say in two weeks, your sister from Kalamazoo says, hey, yeah, I saw that email you sent. I really want to go. She can sign up as a single, and we'll make sure that we, on the back end, put you two together, and that will reflect a double occupancy. The most important thing is, is we're holding these seats and the space for you up until those dates that we talked about and guaranteeing that pricing for Ollie at UNT. So once you fill this out, 
Stephanie will find out that folks are signing up as well as we'll get that information and we'll be all ready to start the party when it's time. And that's a good point. Um, so all the deposits are the same, whether you're booking as a single or whether you're booking as a double. We've had Ollie members who book as a single and then they find out someone, another Ollie members going on the trip as a single. They didn't know each other before this, but they're going to travel together and then they become a double. And then that's the price lowers for their final payment, but the deposits are the same. Um, and another thing, Ollie does require the insurance um, for you to travel with us. We just think it's... Um, it's good practice for, for our organization. So please don't try and book and then not get the insurance. It's, it's a requirement to travel with us. Yes, Gary. It slipped out of my mind. <laughs> We're not going anywhere. We've got a question that's on pause. We'll hear, we'll hear it in a minute. <laughs> question about passports. Passports. For some of these places, are there any restriction as to how the date on the passport um, if it's within the time of the trip, but then there's the expectation that the passport will be like a year beyond that date. I've heard of some. Yeah. That yeah these, the question is, let me just repeat the question. The question is, how long does your passport need to be valid from when you're traveling? Like how long after your departure date or expiration date, return date right. does it need to be valid? Sure. So your passport needs to be valid six months after your return date. So if the last day of your trip, let's say, is April 1st, then six months after that would be October 1st. It needs to be valid during that period of time. We've actually had some people that are traveling with, with us to, um, on the Treasures and Thieves who had to get new passports because it didn't meet that um, yeah, that time frame, so. I'm not saying that it couldn't, but no. that's the safest and the right thing to do. Yeah. And the, the, th the thinking behind that is if something happened while you're on your trip and you needed to get back in at some point. And another recommendation that Colette makes is to take a picture of your passport, keep it with you, and also have a picture that you keep at home with, with someone. Um, so there's different points of reference for your passport when you're traveling. Mm -hmm. See, I'm reading my documents. Mm -hmm. Gary, did it come back to you? No. Not yet. That's frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> happens yeah. to me all the time. Gary, as soon as we hang up, it'll you'll get it. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> what other questions do you have before I put the brochures out? Yes, ma'am. This is probably an unrealistic expectation, but I have the feeling I'm going to put my suitcase on the bus out from here and not see it again until I get to my hotel and whatever. Is that true? I mean, or do I have to carry it, drag it to airports and the, the question home? is if you when the hometown pickup comes and they take your bag and they put mm -hmm. it on the bus, will you have to get it then off the bus, take it and check in and get mm -hmm. it, you know, or is it just all like magic and it shows up <laughs> in your hotel room? Not quite is that the question? Like magic. We try to do our best, but um, you, let's say you decide you're going to meet up there at the Ollie office and the motor coach or whatever type of trend, depending on how many people come, depends on the size of the vehicle, right? So we'll get those loaded on there. The bus driver will help everybody with those. We'll get to DFW. We'll arrive at the terminal baggage terminal and we will unload those and they'll be sitting right there. Okay. You will grab your bag. You'll roll it into the airport. You'll get your, uh, you'll check in you know, at the thing, you'll give them your bag, you'll take care of your baggage fee or whatever's going on there. Then magically, it goes off into the background of the airlines, right? And it gets transferred all the way through, whether you go to New York and then go over the pond or whatever kind of connection you may have or direct flight from DFW, then it will arrive at the location. You'll go back through customs, depending on where you are. And then you'll get your bag from baggage claim. And then your Colette representative will be there to say, let me help you get those bags to the motor coach. And they'll help you get your bags to the motor coach. They'll get you to the hotel, first hotel. Somebody will take those bags to your room. And then all your baggage handling is taken care of through all the different hotels that we go to. It will arrive in your room. You'll set it outside your door when we're the, the morning before we're getting on the motor coach, if that makes sense. Thank you. Sure. Yes. I remember now. All right. He remembers. Oh, too late, Gary. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>
is there a minimum subscription for a tour to happen? And are we commingling the Ali tour with other tours? So that way there is some motor coach capacity limit or something uh, or cruise capacity yeah. limit, how does this work? The question is, is there a certain number of people that we have to get for a trip to make? And are we, um, is it just our Ollie group or are we commingling with other Ollies or other people? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the question, right? Well, first of all, if you're referring to Treasures and Thieves, we you have a group exclusive. So it's 36 people are on, I think right now, or 38, something like that. So it's all your people, all right? No, you're not commingling with anybody, all right? That's a custom yeah. trip that we did. So that's uh -huh. different from a normal one. These other trips, um, the pricing is not based on whether you have 10, 20 people, even if you have two people. We'll guarantee the pricing of that trip up until that, that date that we said you have to have deposits and insurance in by, okay, that saves you the money. Periodically, um, and we before COVID, we never saw this really, but periodically we'll see not enough people on a departure. And maybe it'll be, say it's a September 2nd departure and we only end up with five people, but we have another departure on September 10th and we need to move some folks over to make, we can't just operate on with five people. You know, we can't take that. So we may ask you, hey, could you move over to this date or another day and make this all, And but that's more the atmosphere right now that we're in versus what we were. So sometimes that happens. Um, it just, it depends on the weight load, but it wouldn't ever reflect your price. Um, we would not ever increase your price on anything like that. And if that date didn't work, we would refund hundred percent of your money um, because we couldn't accommodate what you had. So I hope that is understandable. And also, so it's not just our Ollie members. We are, we reserve a certain number of seats on the trip. Right. And the rest of the seats are open, whether to other Ollies or other organizations, other people mm -hmm. reserving their seats. Is that correct? You will co-mingle. Yes. Yes. So yes. I'm sure folks on your um, on your Finland trip can say, you know, there were other people from other places in the U.S. or wherever that joined them. Fort Worth. There were people from Fort Worth, Donna says. <laughs> Question? Excluding river cruises. Is there an average number of people that are norm normally on an escorted, one of your escorted tours? What's the average number on one of your tours? Um, so we have our classic tours, which average 35, 38, max 44. We have an exploration store, which is like the Finland one they went on. That's no more than 24 people. Okay. And then, of course, like she mentioned, river cruises and things like that can take more folks um, you know, I think 120 or what are on like the Danube cruise. So under yes. So mm -hmm. it would be really great if, you know, we have a certain number of seats that are reserved for us. And I keep calling back saying we've got a lot of interest and then it grows to where a trip is, you know, for the majority, our group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so we have that possibility. I just call Karen and say, we need to release more seats for our group and, the earlier we know, the better chance we have of getting those seats. Um, but we've reserved plenty um, mm -hmm. for our members because we pick trips that we think our members will like. So we feel confident that we'll be able to make um, the seats that mm -hmm. we've reserved. Did you just say 20 or did you say plenty? Plenty. Each one's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. On average, how many, hours On average, how many seats are we holding for these? 20-ish? 20, 20, 25? 20 like that yeah because there's there's no risk and we know how everybody's so excited to travel that you know we were like let's hold these and see because like I mentioned to you if we get 10 or even if we get 30 you know we'll do our best to accommodate everybody to get in by that seat reduction time so um yeah so either way that would put us at the bulk of the people traveling on on these trips. So, and you can bring family members. Um, as Karen mentioned earlier, you have a sister, a, you know, an adult child, um, a parent, like I'm taking my parents on a trip coming up. Um, they, they're they welcome to travel with us. They do need to become an Ollie member, but you know, they can do our most inexpensive um, level, $55 
to travel with us. We've had plenty of people do that with us before, bring an adult child or, so we have travelers that are from all over the United States because they don't even, they don't have to live here. They just become a member, travel mm -hmm. with their family mm -hmm. member or friend. So you have that option too. And they don't have to come out of DFW. So if they need to come from any other uh, airport, we just call that number and say, you know, my aunt from Kalamazoo needs to fly there to Dublin and we'll get you the pricing on that and anything you need. So you have a lot of friends in Kalamazoo, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> when we traveled to Cuba, we had um, people traveling from New York. We have some people in Treasures of Thieves coming from, I think, Minnesota, someone from Houston. So it's, it's true. You don't have to be with our group. I should mm -hmm. add one more thing. The hometown pickup, if you were traveling on your own with Colette, just, you know, by yourself, they could come pick you up at your house and you'd go there. But as a group, this is our house right here, 1716 Scripture Street. So, and you can't park for obvious reasons uh, in our parking lot. So for any of our hometown pickups, you'd need an Uber over here, get someone to drop you off here. And that's where they will pick us up. And this is where they will drop us off as well. So um, personally, that's worth all the money in the world because I don't like driving to the airport. So, um, and park parking and all that. So um, it's a very nice benefit. Yes. So if I did one of these up, a different collector, not one of these. They could be at home. Yes. The question is, if I just did a trip on my own, would they pick me up at my house? And the answer is yes. And also, excuse me, you would need to take one of these. We have something that's called World Connect. And this has our Ollie ID number on it. And if you travel just on another trip with Colette, our Ollie benefits from it. So we raise money for our organization no matter which trip you take, as long as you enter our number in. So, um, and we've had other Ollie members do that. They just go on another trip that they're interested in. They use this number and we benefit from it financially. So, and you said always the, looking for the traveler saves $50 doing that too, off of their trip. $50. <laughs> plus, if it's, plus if it's a loyalty, then you're going to save $150. So it goes on and on and on. So uh, it's a great way to give back as well as I take advantage of it. The whole, just remember that the transportation is part of the air package, right? So you'd have to do the full package of the air to get the transportation. And as you, you know, we're going to come up with great new trips every every year essentially and reveal them every year if you find one you like every year you're going to save money okay just, just keep saving okay so that that finland trip was i think 2019 it was going for two years so the loyalty from that will apply the question is um the finland trip was in 2019 uh -huh. but then they couldn't travel for obvious reasons will the loyalty um money apply to a trip this year 2023. in 2023 not in 2023 um you could have traveled in 21 we were still trying we started traveling in 21 for 150 in 2022 you would save a hundred dollars so in 2023 that would be outside of the 24 months so that would not apply sorry we did our best we skipped 2020 totally because we know that was just nothing we could do so that's where we are with that other questions okay karen i think that we um we know all of our trips for 2023 they look amazing we appreciate this um presentation you put together for us we're going to wrap this up and i'm going to put out the brochures so people can put them in their hands and take them home look at them they know that they can uh, register for a trip online. You showed them how they can do that. There's also a way to register through these brochures that we have. So lots of ways. Yeah. And these, uh, will, the links will go live tomorrow for anyone who's um, not in this special group seeing this live. So right. thank you so much. We appreciate you. We'll be sure. in touch. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Good night. Bye.